About 850 students at Worth County High School in southwestern Georgia were subjected to unreasonable, aggressive and invasive searches, a lawsuit alleged. WALB hundreds of high school students in Georgia who were subjected to invasive searches for drugs by a sheriff and his deputies have reached a $3 million settlement, their lawyers said. The Southern Center for Human Rights, whose lawyers are representing some of the Worth County high school students, announced on Tuesday that the settlement would give most of the 850 students who were searched between $1,000 and $6,000 each. The settlement, which is pending approval by a federal judge, would give more to those who underwent more invasive searches. The announcement came one day after the Worth County Sheriff, Jeff Hobby, was suspended and replaced in response to the episode. We see the settlement as a victory for the hundreds of Worth County students who were searched and for their families, Mark Begno, a lawyer who is also representing the students, said in an interview on Wednesday. It sends a message. This whole thing was wrong from the beginning. It is not right for a sheriff to walk into a high school and pull all students out of class with zero suspicion, Mr. Begno said. The case traces back to April 14 at 8 a.m., when Sheriff Hobby and his deputies were among 40 uniformed officers from five law enforcement agencies who entered the grounds of the school. Mr. Begno said that the authorities had a target list of 13 students suspected of having drugs and that only three of those students were at school that day. But the searches they conducted extended far beyond the list. It is our understanding every student who was present that day was searched, Mr. Begno said. According to a lawsuit filed on June 1, the school was put on lockdown until noon as students were pulled out of class and searched in front of other students. The searches were captured on surveillance video, deputies inserted fingers inside of and pulled up girls' brass, touching and partially exposing their bare breasts. They touched girls' underwear by placing hands inside their waistbands or reaching up their dresses and they cupped or groped boys' genitals, the right center said. No drugs or drug paraphernalia were found. Nine of the students initiated the class action lawsuit, which named the sheriff and more than two dozen deputies as defendants. It alleged that they lacked the jurisdiction to carry out the unreasonable, aggressive, and invasive body searches, and it highlighted alleged constitutional violations, including those related to searches without probable cause. The settlement, reached with the Association County Commissioners of Georgia, which covers the county in civil cases and will make the payment from its insurance policy, is pending the approval of Judge Leslie J. Abrams of United States District Court. We have reached an agreement that we will present to the court, said Rowley W. Rollins, Jr., a lawyer for the defendants. Mr. Hobby and two of his deputies, Tyler Turner and Deirdre Widden, have also been indicted on criminal charges. Paul Bowden, the district attorney, confirmed on Wednesday that Mr. Hobby was indicted October 3 on charges of false imprisonment and violation of oath of office both felonies, and of UAL battery, a misdemeanor. Mr. Turner faces charges of UAL battery and violation of oath of office, and Ms. Widden a violation of oath of office, Mr. Bowden said. Lawyers for Mr. Hobby, Mr. Turner and Ms. Widden could not be reached for comment. The three are scheduled to be arraigned in December, Mr. Bowden said. Follow Christine Hauser on Twitter at Christine Init.